The format to view the rules and regulations of our government gets a facelift with the launch of Federal Register 2.0. This updated electronic version of the Daily Journal of our government begins as the Federal Register celebrates its 75th anniversary. It is the, the way the American public can keep up with what's going on uh, in the federal government. It is actually the only way that they can get access to everything, all the actions, all the proposed regulations um, in, the, in the federal government in one place. The Federal Register is the daily publication of presidential documents and federal regulations. Since the 1930s, the National Archives and Records Administration has compiled the content of the Federal Register. Prior to the Federal Register's creation, federal rules and regulations were maintained by each individual government agency. When President Franklin Roosevelt began issuing his New Deal initiatives, it became clear there needed to be an official collection of these regulations. So on July 26, 1935, President Roosevelt signed the Federal Register Act. Eight months later, on March 16, 1936, the first Federal Register came off the presses at the U.S. government printing office. This was a landmark achievement in open government. It assured that the public would know uh, what the government was doing and could have an opportunity to reflect a different point of view if the public disagreed with the government. For more than seven decades, GPO has printed nearly three million individual pages of the Federal Register. GPO is responsible for keeping America informed on the three branches of the federal government. And for the last 75 years, GPO and the Federal Register have not missed a deadline. It's actually one of the few partnerships between the executive branch and the legislative branch that is defined in statute. America is one of the few countries in the world where the public has a right to know what its government is doing and the Federal Register, the work between the Office of the Federal Register and the Government Printing Office is critical to make certain that our citizens know what their government is doing. In addition to the print version, GPO makes the Federal Register available on GPO's Federal Digital System, or FDSIS. This system is a one-stop site to authentic published government information. In 2009, the day President Barack Obama was sworn into office, GPO and the Office of the Federal Register released the daily compilation of presidential documents on FDSIS. In 2010, another achievement in open government takes place with the launch of the Federal Register 2.0 prototype. Uh, Federal Register 2.0 is, um, is an advance in the uh, open government uh, initiative of the Obama, Obama administration. Uh, by being able to make the Federal Register readily available, easily understood, and to bring focus to public participation opportunities. Federal Register 2.0 is a user-friendly digital version of the Daily Journal of Government. Information is organized similar to a daily web newspaper by topics of interest, which includes sections for money, environment, world, science and technology, business and industry, and health and public welfare. This new site includes navigational tools to quickly direct readers to information that is important to them. New features invite readers to comment and stay connected through social media, which promotes public participation. Federal Register employees also write plain language summaries posted beside the often dense and confusing text contained in the hard copy of the Federal Register. I think the coolest thing, and this is a guy who's you know, used the Federal Re Register his entire life practically, uh, is its uh, translation into English in words that make sense uh, and that are accessible. I think that's the biggest contribution. The Federal Register was a landmark achievement in open government in the 1930s, and now, 75 years later, the Federal Register and GPO continue to provide transparency for government information in both printed and electronic form.